Also today, we refer a stern nation to today's crossword puzzle in the New York Times. Number 25 down, blank the midget, regular on the Howard Stern Show. Really? Wow. Wow. Does Eric know that? Eric, did you hear that? Uh, that's the first I've heard of it. Do you know what it is to be in the New York Times crossword puzzle? New York Times uses the word midget? Oh, he's gone. What happened? I don't know. I had him and he left. He disconnected for some reason. I think the news, he passed out and he fell down on his phone. <laughs> Somebody better go investigate. Maybe he's off to bigger things. Maybe he called into the Got Oprah a better show. Call. Yeah, he said, you know, I'm in the New York Times. I'll call into Oprah. <laughs> I'll get on that Oprah channel. Uh, wow. Well, I would have spoken with him about it. We're trying to get her back, Howard. Yeah, what happened there? Did anybody know? know? Hmm. I wonder what happened to the little guy. You're telling me the New York Times uses the word midget? It says blank the midget. Mm. Wow. Wow. I'm shocked. I thought midget was bad. You know, and, and the New York Times is so politically correct. But maybe they feel, look, that's what we call them, and, and uh, they had to go with it. Yeah, they couldn't call uh, him Eric the Actor. Nobody's going like, to figure out that clue. Blank the Actor? You nobody, don't think any nobody's <laughs> buying that. They have to print the truth. I got to say, that means Eric has arrived. I mean, his price is going to go through the roof now. For what? Nothing. <laughs> what happened to you? Would you pass out when I told you? No, there's a lost connection somehow. Are you okay? Yeah. Did you hear that you're a cl you're a, a clue in the crossword puzzle in the New York Times? That's the first I've heard of it when you said it. You realize how big well, a deal I that is? He said it. I'm sure it's probably a really big deal. I mean, you've got to, you've got to show that to your what parents. What are you going to do to capitalize he's on gonna, it? First, he's going to show it to his parents. Oh, and then they'll let him do the show. They won't be so upset. And i got to tell you, Eric. You've got to embrace the midget now and stop trying to run from it. No, I do not. Eric, they're in the New York Times is Eric the midget. This is it. This is the big time. It's you. It's who you are. I don't care what publication and it gets into. Wow. I'm not embracing that nickname. That's crazy. Ever. But Eric. Then you have nothing to capitalize on. Are you aware of how big the New York Times crossword puzzle is? I am Sure, it's real big. I've heard it's real big. People spend, they get higher public relations firms to get into that. This is the biggest break you've ever gotten. And if they call you the midget, you got to embrace your name. No. Nope. I mean, they, didn't, they never would have used the little, Eric the little person or the actor. No one would get the. the. John Hine, you're a media expert. You're probably going to go on to be a professor of media. What do you make of this? Is this not a big accolade for Eric? I think it's a huge opportunity. Uh, <laughs> exactly. A, a black person would not embrace someone printing whatever their name was, the N-word. <laughs> you don't I'm think? I'm not going to embrace that. <laughs> no, I think there are some who would. <laughs> yeah. There's some rap guys who use yeah. that. Wasn't there a guy, uh, what was that guy's name? Nigarachi? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, 31 across? Yeah. You're in there now? Yeah. 31 across, Eric. That's uh, funny. 25 down. Why are you saying that? Oh. What? Uh, I was doing a joke on the N-word. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I thought you were telling me the truth. Benji was joking again. Another joke uh... I didn't get. I, I didn't get it. I, I'm not up to your speed. He's saying the N word is uh, uh, 31 across. I think. Okay. I read jokes. All right. Thanks for reminding me. Benji writes jokes in case he didn't. Because know. that certainly <laughs> wouldn't remind me. <Wow. laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> Should have written one that time. All right. Thank you, Benji. Did, did you get any clips of uh, the JFSC Idol show? I did it Tuesday night and Wednesday night. Uh, did hmm. you get any clips? JD, we working on that? I'm imagining we're going to have those, Eric, at some point. Right. All right. Well, congratulations. J.D. says no, he didn't get any clips. J.D., you can't take it? I wasn't here, and, uh, you know, sorry. Uh, we tried them last last year, and they weren't <laughs> bad. Why are these? What? <laughs> um, what? My headphones are way up high. I don't know why. 
All right. Um, why, why are we not taping Eric's show? You know that show's a gold mine. No, well, it wasn't such a gold mine last year because it was just boring. It was just whatever. I, 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 thought, <laughs> I thought the older clips would work. But, so you and, and, and first, and first, hold on, hold on, shut up. Uh, I, you said you weren't doing it, so I didn't realize you were doing it, and now you are. Well, all technical difficulties have been fixed. Well, see, then what's the point of recording? Well, the show? you should record it. We should hear it. Well, you don't want it? You hate it. Is that I mean, the worst part of your life? Recording? Means they got to come in overnight no, again. No, 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 no. I don't want you doing that. <laughs> I'll get someone to record it. No, no one will. No, trust me. No one will want to record that show. <laughs> I'll do it. No, I don't I'll want you coming in I'll tonight. figure it out. No, I, I told you I don't want you on the show. I'll schedule. figure it out. <laughs> figure it out, but I, if you come in here, you're fired. <laughs> the what? That's right. <laughs> if I come in to work. <laughs> right. If you come into work at night, you're fired. <laughs> okay. I don't want you doing that. You, uh, you had a nervous fucking breakdown, in my opinion. So we'll no, do without I'm, Eric. I'm, I'm better. I'm getting better. I mean, the guy almost almost had a full breakdown. No, I didn't. Is there no other way to get Eric clips? Uh, maybe I'll try and. You know what? Forget out. the Eric clips. I don't want you coming in here. <laughs> Thank you. No, there must be another way. Maybe <laughs> medicated Pete can do it. <laughs> he has nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe medicated Pete should be your assistant. Where is that medicated Pete? Is he here? He's here. Oh, he's here. You can, he's got his. Uh, well, he'll come in. I'm hey, going to hey. give him a special assignment. I've I'll got something no, for him to do. I don't really. Let me have <laughs> J.D., I'm, I don't want you coming in here at night. You had a nervous breakdown, in my opinion. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm no, you're better. not fine. You're not fine. It's the medication talking. <laughs> I, I'm still on it. I'm hey, Pete. <laughs> what's up? What's happening, man? Hey, man. J.D., what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> He's in the house. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. Is that a new saying now? <laughs> <laughs> This is some staff. <laughs> hey, Pete. What's up? Would you record Eric the Midget show? Of course. Yeah. So there we go. Okay. You want to come in at midnight? I mean, I he's got to find a station and place to so record. Maybe you could do it somewhere at home or something. All right. All right. Well, that's Scott the Engineer or somebody. <laughs> Jam with Pete. See if you can figure something out. Worst comes to worst, I will come in to do it. No, no you won't. I told you you're fired. How? You I'll be fine. I don't want. You know what? I don't want to hear Eric's show. <laughs> I could care less. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's fine. That's right, music okay. to my ears. I don't want, no one wants to hear it. <laughs> that might have been what set him off in the first place. Oh. Eric, I would play right. clips, but we don't have any. I don't have any. I don't have any staffers. <laughs> no clips. Right. Well, gonna have to, well, you know what, Eric? Record yourself and send it to him. Yeah, that. See, I tried to. You know he can't do that. <laughs> Someone can. Eric DeMidge can't even get his show on the air <laughs> without technical <laughs> fuck ups. Now he's going to record it. You're going to blow his mind. <laughs> I got to move along anyway because I got to tape some stuff after the show today, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, you do. Most importantly, I'll work on Eric's idol show. <laughs> All right, Eric, we're going to tape your idol show, and you should be complimented and embrace the name Eric the Midget because you're. Pete, would you freak out if you were in a New York Times crossword puzzle? Would I freak out? Yeah. I think it'll be awesome. Right. Yeah. Eric's fighting it. Uh, yeah, Eric, will you complain to the New York Times, dude? No, but... Don't I'm complain, not, man. Embrace it. That's awesome. I'm not embracing that nickname ever. It's official. It's and official, it's in then. the Times. If it's in the New York Times, then you're Eric the Midget. Dude, it's no. over. New York Times, that's a... Uh, it's a crumb de crumb, man. That's what? It's the crumb de crumb of, uh... <laughs> of the media. <laughs> of the print media. <sighs> Come on, Eric. <laughs> Uh, you go back there and figure out what the truth is. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Pete. By the way, Howard, yeah. I was looking at Danny's menu. There is no pizza on the menu. <laughs> I looked at the pub menu. I looked at the dinner you menu. I looked at the appetizers and salads menu. So Pete, There's you're no pizza. You're lying. Ronnie was right. Danny's Steakhouse. And, uh, I'm looking on, at it. On Bridge Avenue. But there's no pizza. <laughs> there's no pizza, dude. We had pizza, I swear. What, you order in? I don't, it was all over my face. The evidence was all there. All right. Thank you, Pete. She didn't Le like, you leave know. us now because it's, uh, it's I'm confused. Too confusing. Yeah, I mean, I could be here all day with you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Be before you let me go, I have two things I'd like to say. All right. One is directed towards Bubba. Bubba, you better back your army off my ass. Yesterday they were tweeting me, threatening me, saying that they wanted me to fly to Orlando to get punched by us. I'm calm. Hmm? All right. Okay, Eric. And then also... We're trapped the, in a wrestling situation. <laughs> the party on February 14th is at the... Or 13th, I mean, is at 
the uh, club in L.A. called Foreplay, not the other one I said last week. All right. Thank you, Eric. All right. That's Eric the Midget. It's which, official. It's official. I mean, this guy's in the New York Times. He's on fire. Go ahead. 